Hey everyone, this is Gleb, and today I want to show you kind of unusual edge case that we hit when we were testing something that opened a third party website. The third party website had a pop up, like similar to this, where you had to accept terms and conditions. And at some point, we noticed that we did not see the pop up as we expected. We saw something else, like notice right now. I don't see a checkbox, I see a different dialog that basically tries to accept the terms and condition. The third party website that we did not control was running a B experiment showing two different pop ups, you know, depending on I don't know, random chance. So how do you handle that in your Cypress test? I'm going to move Cypress to the left. And before we begin, I want to show the implementation that I'm using for my example. I have two dialogues, dialog accept one and dialog with ID accept two. And on a button click uh, right here, continue to accept, we just draw a random number and in half chances we show the first dialog and in another half we show the second dialog. I'm using HTML5 dialog, so at the beginning both dialogs are already present. Uh, if we just get them and they both are hidden, they both are invisible. All right, so the first thing we need to do, we need to click on continue to accept button. So we're gonna, uh, let's say contains button continue to accept and we're gonna click on it. And one of the dialogues will pop up and we don't know which one, it's 50-50. And the way I will solve this problem is the following. I'm going to get both dialogues using CSS or selector. So the dialogue with ID accept one, and I'm going to limit it to the visible. And you'll see why in a second. And dialogue with ID accept two, and also visible. The comma is CSS or selector. So we're getting all elements that either match this selector or this selector. But because only one dialog is visible at a time, we know that the element that we receive, let's say dialog, only a single element should be there. We can check it using assertion should have length one. But because we already have jQuery element and we're using expect, it's the same assertion, just we have to say expect jQuery object to have length one. So now we have this one element. Perfect. But which one is it? Is it dialog one or is it dialog two? Right? Because we get either one selector or the second selector. We can get this again using jQuery. So if dialog is, and now we can pass a selector. So if it's, it is dialog with id except one we can even log something say dialog one else we assume it's dialog two so we can say say dialog two let's see if this works correctly and in this case this was dialog two dialog two we determine it correctly if we save a file and now it's uh, still dialog two let's reload we run this. Okay, dialog one. So we correctly determine which selector, the first or the second, matches the element we actually got from the page. If it's the first one, then it's easy to deal with, right? Now we don't have any conditions, we're just dealing with the first case. So this is accept one box, I believe, and we have to check. Yep and then contains button accept. And we want to be careful here because we don't want accidentally to select the original button right here. Uh, but right now our case will uh, distinguish lowercase accept from top. But just to be careful, we can say say so get dialog accept one and within we can do all our commands and will not accidentally match anything else on the page. 
let's see okay so once we found the button we're gonna click on it and this dialog should not be visible anymore right because it should be closed should not be visible okay let's see if we can get the first case perfect so the first dialog popped up we found the accept checkbox checked it clicked on the accept button inside and then the dialog became hidden uh what about the second case well all we have to do right maybe find the dialog uh contains button accept all click on it and the second dialog should go away and hide right so second dialog clicked on the button but that goes away so this is an example of conditional testing if you have no other alternative you can look at the page use css or selector and get one of the possible elements you can check if there is only one element returned or yielded and then you can determine which element you're dealing with is it the first selector or the second selector and then just use if else condition to run the cypress commands appropriate for that flow you can find the full source course for this example at my cypress example site i will link it in the description of this video